just a heads up for anyone who cares. It might be my only video today. I got to take care of some things in uh, the boring outside world. And also The Boys Season 2 came out today, which I really enjoyed Season 1. And I'll probably try to binge watch Season 2. So we have a article here from the New York Post, though, with the headline, Japan's flying car soars in test flight with passenger aboard. It's not a very long article. And after we read it, I'm going to show you a video clip of the flying car itself. It's, uh, it is kind of, honestly, it's, it's, not, it's not that cool, actually. <laughs> it's not as impressive as I would hope. No shade at the company or Japan or anything like that. The only reason why I say that is because it doesn't really look like a car. It looks more like a tiny plane, in, in my humble opinion. It's still cool. It just doesn't seem like a flying car to me. But anyways, let's take a look. So the caption here, Japan's SkyDrive Inc. among the myriads of flying car projects around the world. Is it myriad or myriad? It's myriad, I think, right? Has carried out a successful, uh, a successful though modest test flight with one person aboard. Yes, because they go on to describe how this can only fly for about five to ten minutes. Spoiler alert! Oh, spoiler alert! After the spoils are given, I guess that's not how it works. Paging Marty McFly. <laughs> did, they, did, they, did they really just say that? Paging Marty McFly. Okay. <laughs> Uh, one of the world's first successful test flights of a flying car with a passenger aboard was launched by a Japanese firm. According to a report Friday, the sleek futuristic ride, which looks like a cross between a one-man helicopter and a smart car. I think that the smart car thing is generous. It looks like a helicopter or a tiny plane or something to me. Hovered several feet off the ground in a video released by its Tokyo-based creators, SkyDrive, Inc. And, and you know, it is still cool. I still think it's cool. We'll see the clip in a moment. A rep from the firm said the Jetsons light car may soon take transportation to new heights. Is that a pun? This article is kind of funny. Marty McFly. Yeah, new heights. We get it, guys. We get it. Of the world's more than 100 flying car projects, only a handful have succeeded with a person on board. Uh, Tomohiro Fukuzawa, who heads the SkyDrive project, told the Associated Press, I hope many people will want to ride it and feel safe. Uh, <laughs> the, the part that comes next after that's hilarious. I hope many people will want to ride it and feel safe. By the way, the machine can only fly for five to 10 minutes. <laughs> that was the sketchiest thing to me where it says five to 10. I hope they have a meter uh, in, in the machine or whatever showing you how much time is left because that's a huge disparity. Yeah, you can fly for five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, uh, you know, may maybe not quite five. Although, to be fair, they're saying five as, as if that is the the, la the lowest end there. But I would be scared, man. If they're saying five to 10, I'd be worried. Well, what if it is? Ha what if it just happens to be like two minutes and there's no warning or something? I mean, surely they have all that sorted out, right? Uh, let's see what, what else they say. The machine so far. Okay, we read that. He hopes the high flying project. The high-flying gadget, excuse me, I was checking the other screen. Hopefully, I didn't uh, scuff this entire report by having it all off screen. He hopes the high-flying gadget will hit the market by 2023, but said safety improvements are needed first. Yeah. <laughs> In addition, battery sizes, air traffic control, and other infrastructure pose challenges to creators of eVTOL e e or electronic vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. Many things have to happen, said Sanjeev Singh, professor at the Robotic Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. If they cost $10 million, no one is going to buy them. If they fly for five minutes, no one is going to buy them. If they fall out of the sky every so often, no one is going to buy them. Yeah, so there, there are some huge problems with this, obviously. The SkyDrive project, which started in 2012, has scored funding by top Japanese companies, including automaker Toyota and Panasonic. The test flight took place at a field owned by Toyota in central Japan earlier this month. A demonstration flight by SkyDrive three years ago went poorly. But the vehicle's latest launch improved after the firm received $37 million in funding. With how expensive this whole thing costs, it sounds like $37 million isn't going to go a long way, though, to be honest, right? I mean, is the $10 million price point a complete hypothetical? I'm assuming this is just a hypothetical, but maybe they didn't get the $10 million price point like from nowhere. I mean, how much did this prototype cost? I, I wouldn't be surprised if it cost, I mean, you know, millions and millions, maybe tens of millions. How much is $37 million of funding going to get them? Maybe they can... I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate on all that. It's still kind of early in the morning, to be quite honest. Like I said, I just kind of want to watch the boys. This is actually cool, though. Let's watch the video. Uh, and I, I apologize if I'm kind of being a little bit uh, of, of, a, of a Mr. Cranky with this news. Oh, it's not that cool. This is this, this doesn't look like a car to me. I mean, come on, though, man. It really... I mean, maybe some people it looks like a car to them. I guess you can see, like... I don't know. I just think 
it'd be cooler if it had wheels and it could like fly and drive. I guess my, my uh, expectations are way too high. Get it? If we're going to do the pun thing, might as well add another one in there. All right, let's watch the video. Here we go, man. World debut SkyDrive manned flight by SD03 in the summer of 2020. Full version. We got the whole nine yards here. Let's skip to when it's starting to take off. All right. I mean, that is pretty cool. I bet that would be fun as long as you're not worried about, you know, only having four minutes and 27 seconds, 26, 25, 24 as you're flying. You might be worried about all that. And I guess it just kind of hovers around in this enclosed area. You know, it's a very controlled test. You got people cheering in the background there. That's awesome. I'm not going to play the whole video and I am obviously commenting throughout this despite it maybe being annoying, but there is no audio. So uh, hopefully I'm not that annoying to people. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff you got to do for fair use. So it is what it is. The thing flies around a little bit. It, oh, it actually has pretty good maneuverability, it seems. I think that's actually the most impressive thing, maybe. The turning radius is actually pretty, pretty good on this thing. Look at that. There's not too much room before it gets to the end. Makes a solid turn. How, you know, that might have been actually a pretty tricky part, getting it to turn like that. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. Look at me trying to sound all smart now. Yeah, the, the, the turning, man. That, that must be tech, technological advancements right there. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about, to be honest, but I will admit this was cooler to see uh, than, I, than I expected. Not not too bad, man. Like the article said, if they can get it to 30 minutes, that'd be something. Get that price point down from the 10 million hypothetical. Again, th that's not like a retail. Uh, it's not like a retail recommended value or anything like that. From what I've seen, a manu you, you know what I mean? MSRP. I'm forgetting the exact term right now. It is still early in the morning, but uh Fun way to start the day off, I guess. Let me know what you guys think about this news. Do you have high hopes for SkyDrive, or do you think this thing's going to fall into the water? Or whatever. Whatever cool saying. I'm trying to sound cool. All right, guys. I need more coffee. See if I get a second video out. Maybe. I'll see you then. If not, I look forward to catching you tomorrow. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you, New York Post, for the report. And shout out to SkyDrive for the, uh, the, the, the SkyDrive, I guess. Or the SDO3. There we go. Take care, guys. Peace.